Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new corner of the room where I've decided I will be shooting things that are more booktube than author tubey. Although this is kind of a little of both. Because what I am here to talk about today is The Healer's Love by Kiara L. Rose, which was just released this week and which I do not yet have a physical copy of, so there will be a, a a graphic here of some sort instead of the actual physical book, which I would prefer to be showing you. But I ordered from my local bookstore, and in these times they are taking a little longer than usual, so it's not here yet. How am I giving you a book review then if it, I don't have my physical copy yet? I signed up to be an ARC reader, and I'm very glad that I did. What lured me into this particular book, which is a little out of my norm, um, because it is straight romance, well, pure romance, as in it's not um, sci-fi romance or fantasy romance or something like that, um, but also straight romance. What really sucked me in was the fact that the protagonist, Yanda, is a healer, a traditional healer. And as a nurse, I am always intrigued by narratives that involve healing and health and particularly traditional healing, since that's something we see so little talk about in the West other than to be dismissive, um, which is its own whole other video. Rianda is um, a traditional healer, and she also does not speak vocally. Excuse me. She does not speak vocally. She does speak Yoruban Sign Language. One of the things I really enjoyed very thoroughly about this book was the way that the author used the dynamic of who Inianda's life had chosen to learn sign to be able to communicate with her without her having to write everything, which takes so much longer, and who had not made that choice. Um, it's, it's really well done. Um, and her love interest, Emiliano is a college student. Um, and I'll stop there. This is, by the way, just about take five on this because I keep babbling effusively. And when I go to edit, I realize I have babbled spoilers. So I'm going to try to not do that this time. Um, it's just, it's really a great story. There's a lot of socio-political intrigue in the B-plot that drives or complicates, I should say, the A-plot of the romance. It's, it's really just very well done. It, if you are looking for a occasionally steamy, tastefully steamy, uh, summer read, I highly recommend it. Why did I say this was also kind of an author to be video? Um, well, primarily because Kiara is here on AuthorTube as well, and I will link her channel below. And various other relevant links, such as um, she has sort of a, a link site that shows where it's available in ebook form. Um, I'll include the bookstore.org link if you want to order from your local bookshop um, and Overdrive in case you want to request from your local library, which is something I'm just finally figuring out how to do is use Overdrive to do that. But it is not that difficult. Anyway, coming back to Ianda and Emiliano. It's it's a really sweet story. There, the intrigue 
um, gives you some definite edge of the seat moments. And as it is a romance, you do get your happily ever after. But along the way, um, both Ianda and Emiliano have to really reflectively challenge their thoughts about what tradition means to them, what their culture and their social milieu means to them, what family means to them, and of course, it's a romance. What love means to them. And I'm going to stop there before I start babbling effusively and spill more spoilers again and have to shoot this all again. Because um, this is now going up several days later than intended because that's what I keep doing. So that's it for now. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.